Today I just wanted to take a minute and address one of the questions that we frequently get in regards to the wood stove, the installation of the wood stove, and what we do to ensure your protection as well as to protect the product. So anyways, I'm going to go through some of the different materials that we use, why we use them, and then do a little demonstration of how they work. So anyways, let's go ahead and get going. So these would be the materials that we use behind our wood stove. We start with this. This would be our wall material. It's a half inch um, laminate. It's a vertical grade laminate on both sides with a maple core. And then you'll have a three quarter inch framework and then either a 7 16 OSB outside sheeting or a 5 8 CDX outside sheeting, depending on what you want. Um, we then go to this, what we refer to as a mill board. It's a fire backer, um, eighth inch thick. You wouldn't think that you would get that much fire protection from it, but you'll see in this video how incredible this stuff is. And then we go to a stainless steel backsplash. Um, but we'll go ahead and we will light this, um, put a torch to it and see what the results are. I don't know if you can see that, but the aluminum or the stainless is actually starting to melt and turn red. If I take a temperature reading right now, I mean, it cools off relatively quick. You're right around 250 degrees right now. Um, but at the time when it was starting to burn through, it was right around 700 degrees, which you'll never see temperatures like that out, out of that stove. Um, the most I've ever seen is 300 degrees as I've taken readings on the walls. Um, but we'll go ahead and pull this apart and see what the mill board behind it looks like. So as you can see, barely anything even noticeable. You can put your hand on it. My guess is it's probably right around 50, 60 degrees is all. Um, nothing on the back side. This, this material in itself is pretty incredible. You can take the torch directly to it and it'll actually turn red just like metal would. Uh, but you can see no marks even on the walls. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take the torch to this and let you see how it works. I don't know if you can see that, but it's turning red. You get a little off gas from it, but it'll never, it never catches fire. Um, pretty incredible stuff. Um, you can see barely, barely anything on the back side, but pretty, pretty incredible um, what this stuff can do. And so, yeah, if you have any questions as far as, you know, safety, things that way we take every precaution when we put these wood stoves in um, this like I say surrounds the entire stove um, and then I'll show you kind of the stuff that we use in the ceiling as we go through the ceiling this would be what we use as we go through the ceiling of our camps this is a ten and a half inch box as you can see it really heavy gauge metal and then what we do is we line the interior of it with the mill board and then we run our pipe through it and then we pack it full of this chimney liner insulation that is very similar to the mill board you can put the torch right to it it won't catch fire um, so we pack that full and then we surround it with about eight inches more of this chimney liner around the exterior of it 
just to ensure that that added safety but anyways hope that answers your questions in regards to how we install the stoves and what precautions that we take um, but thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so as well as hit that like button